Hi there viewers, I'm the Extraordinary Tourist and welcome to day 6 of the Inktober challenge. On your screen you can see the official rules for Inktober, followed by my unofficial rules that I've given myself because I'm participating with digital inks and I've deliberately left those instruct or those rules short on the screen. Uh, if you'd like to read them, feel free to go back and pause the video, or if you'd like to know more about them, go back to the first video in this series where I talk more about the rules of Inktober and why I've imposed those particular rules on myself. Uh, if you're interested, uh, my digital links are my Pablo Coast 22 pen display monitor and that's loaded up with a copy of Clip Studio Paint EX. Uh, for today's drawing you may be excused for thinking that this is a picture of Batman uh, which in fact it isn't even though it looks quite a lot like Batman. Uh, you'll notice that the logo or insignia on the character's chest as we get closer to the end of the video is very different to Batman's logo. It's actually two lightning bolts. Uh, the character is actually called Batstorm and he's a character that I created back when I was doing a lot of animations for myself using GoAnimate and I used their character creator to create this Batman parody character called Batstorm and he got his name as a result of the default insignia on the chest of superhero characters in GoAnimate's character creator was this double lightning bolt symbol. So consequently I came up with the name Batstorm because there was no way of actually changing the logo on his chest. And this particular drawing, like, because I, I created this character using a character creator and then later on I tried using different animate, animation software called MovieZoo which is a 3D animation software and I used their character creator uh, to create a version of Batstorm. I've never actually drawn my own version, 2D version of the character or designed my own 2D version of the character so that's what I thought I'd try and do with this particular drawing. Uh, Batstorm himself as a parody character is actually a cosplay character who moonlights as what he believes is the world's greatest detective or he believes himself to be the world's greatest detective but through the day he does children's parties and other events appearing as the character Batstorm even though he looks a lot like Batman uh, he still calls himself Batstorm And in this particular image, I just wanted to sort of, I was actually trying to come up with a design for his face and body, sort of loosely based on the movie zoo version of the character, but it didn't really work out because to do proper character design you really need to sit down and draw multiple drawings and stuff. And this I was just sitting down and trying to get a sketch done so I could get my drawing done for the day. So. This is a version of Batstorm, probably done as a more serious looking image that you would see in any typical sort of superhero comic book. It's probably not the design I would go with if I was actually trying to create a character model that I was going to animate myself. But that was what I was intending to do and the fact that he's holding a sort of coffee to go there was to sort of reflect the sort of less than super ha superhero nature of the character and it's just 
more of a cosplay guy on his break getting a coffee, still in costume. So that's where the coffee came into it. Uh, in terms of the line work, I think I did a reasonable job. Still pretty rough when you look at it up close. Uh, this drawing itself took me an hour and 20 minutes to do, so I'm not really doing so well. I'm trying to cut down my time to around 40 minutes for creating these drawings. Uh, so that's about it. Hope you've enjoyed this episode, and until next video, thanks for watching.